here we go. Get your hands ready for waving. Right, we're going to start off with poo in the zoo. We are. We're going to start off stinky, Catherine. We're going to start mm. off with all that stinky stuff, Daniel. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for a bit of ew wee? Right, here we go. Little Bob McGrew was a keeper at the zoo. Looking after animals was what he loved to do. But it wasn't always fun because Bob was the one who had to push a cart around and shovel up all the poo. Oh, goodness. There was tiger poo and some lion poo, prickly porcupine poo, plummeting giraffe poo that landed with a splat, dollops of gnu poo and bouncy kangaroo poo and a trail of drippy droppings from a fat wombat. Oh dear, what a job. <laughs> Whoopsie! There were flying bits of bat poo. Crikey! What was that poo? Pongy pat of panda poo hooey steaming on the sand. There was monkey always through his as fast as he could do his. So no one had a clue where his poo might land. Uh-oh! Catch it in the bucket, catch it with the racket. Mm, not sure. Bob felt dizzy. He was far too busy with big jobs and little jobs all around the place. He slipped on a banana while mucking out a big iguana and it ran off with a greedy grin upon its face. Mm -hmm. I know, Catherine. Where's he going? The lizard caused hysteria inside the cafeteria. Climbing on the counters, eating everything he saw. Eleven lime lollies, or the cakes off the trolleys. Oh, it might even be your mum's birthday cake, Catherine. Mm -hmm. A pepperoni pizza <laughs> and sandwiches galore. Oh, these are very greedy iguana. Iguana's bulging belly started wobbling like a jelly. <gasps> oh, he groaned. I don't think I could eat another bite. Then his greedy little eyes saw some sparkly fireflies. So he gobbled those up too, because he fancied something light. Dun, dun, dun. Iguana said, uh oh, as his bum began to glow. He pulled a funny face and then plopped a poop upon the floor. Oh my goodness, look at that one. <gasps> but Iguana's jaw soon dropped when he saw the poop that he had plopped. He ran back to his cage where Bob was waiting by the door. <gasps> Bob turned around and saw something glowing on the floor. A poo that shone so brightly it was lighting up. His face. No creature in this zoo has ever done a glowing poo. He whispered to himself, it must have come from outer space. <gasps> Do you think it has? Mm, might have done. Soon everybody knew about the new poo in the zoo. A people flocked to see the interplanetary poop. Then a man in a cravat and a very sparkly top hat said, hello there, Mr. Zookeeper. My name is Hector Gloop. Oh, he does look very smart indeed. Like you, said Hector, I'm another poo collector. I collect exotic poo-poos. I have quite a big selection. I want the world to see how amazing poo can be. Please climb aboard my poo museum and I will show you my collection. Uh, welcome to Gloop's Poo Museum. Amazing Poo Museum. It's poo-tastic. Once in a lifetime. Amazing. Super. Wow. It's this way. Come on up. 
I've got a pile of yeti poo and something that's like spaghetti poo. A smoking pile of dragon poo that's very hard to find. A mammoth poo in ice. Oh, and this one is very nice. It's from a dinosaur's behind. I've got huge poos, tiny poos, crusty poos, shiny poos, every kind of poo poo you could ever wish to see. Well, I've got some dodo doo doo, but not glowing poo like you do. Oh, I've simply got to have it. You sell your poo to me. <gasps> mm, sounds a bit of an odd chap. So Bob sold the poop to a happy Hector Gloop and he spent all the money on a robot pooper scooper. Well, it whizzes round the zoo and it picks up all the poo. And as for Bob and his animals, life is just super duper. Oh, look, he's having a lay down with a lion. Thank you for joining me, Catherine. Thank you for joining me, Daniel. We'll see you all next week. Mm -hmm. Shall we find our, our goodbye song and we'll get ready to, to wave you off? Right. I shall see you on Monday. Take care. See you soon. Thanks, Stacey. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Kate. Bye, Catherine. Happy birthday, Susie. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Take care.